So here's example one. Suppose you draw a card at random from a standard deck of cards. Which of these pairs of events are independent? Um, so remember, you're just drawing one card. Um, when, just because they say events, it doesn't mean you're drawing two cards. It just means that um, it's, it's like two different aspects of that card, like heart and jack, right? So um, here it says, uh, is getting a heart independent of getting a jack? Does knowing whether you have one affect the probability of the other? So we could write out sort of the rule for, um, for uh, independence of events. So probability of heart given jack should equal the probability of hearts period overall, right? Is that true? Well, let's think about this. So there's only four jacks, so that's my whole universe, and the probability of getting a heart is one fourth, but then so is the probability of getting a heart overall. Ta-da! So I would say these are independent. Now I chose probability of heart given jack, but you could have also done it the other way around. Um, I'll, I'll write it in a different color. Probability of jack given heart, right? Is that equal to the probability that you'll just draw a jack, period, right? Well, um, the heart world is 13 cards, right? So out of 13, there's only one jack, so that's one out of 13. And the probability of drawing a jack is four out of 52, which is one out of 13, right? So um, eventually, we get one out of 13, and we see that it doesn't matter which event you pick as your condition, um, they're independent. Okay, so what is the probability of, uh, so are these two events independent? Getting a heart or getting a red card? Okay, so we could set that up again. Heart versus red card. Heart given red card. And is that the same as the probability of just getting hearts overall? Well, we already know this one. It's one out of four, same as here. Um, is the probability of getting a heart given that you already have a red card going to be different? Well, half of the cards in the deck are red. Um, hearts and diamonds, right? Um, and so that's uh, 26 cards. So out of those 26 cards, half of, excuse me, half of those are hearts. So 13 out of 26 are hearts, right? And that's really half of those cards are hearts if you know that it's already a red card. So one half does not equal one fourth. So I would say these are not independent. So here, I'd say independent, here, not independent. And remember, you could always, always test it the other way as well. Probability of red given heart, does that equal the probability of getting a red card? Okay, what about this last one? The probability of getting a seven given heart, and is that equal to just the probability of getting a seven? Well, let's see. So the probability of getting a, a, a seven is that there's four sevens, one for each suite, out of the 52 cards. So four out of 52. And that's going to reduce to one out of 13. Because it's a rate of one out of every 13. Because uh, for every suite, you only have one seven. OK, but what about probability of getting a seven given that it's a heart, right? So if it's a heart card, that's only 13 cards. Um, the probability of getting a seven is one out of 13. Well, these are equal. So I would say independent.